Hi, my name is Kendra Harrell and I'm a librarian at the A&M Texarkana Library. And I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about our library, the John F. Moss Library. So what do you picture in your head when you think about a library? Is it mostly books? Maybe a shushing librarian? A quiet, maybe sort of intimidating place? Or do you think about your school library from when you were younger, full of kids books and highlights magazines? Well, the John F. Moss Library is a little different from those types of libraries. It's different and it's a lot more. Sometimes at Halloween, it's an enchanted forest or a creepy carnival or a traveling witch's camp. At our Eagle Con, it's the landing zone for time machines, but it can also be a tropical getaway, a wand making workshop, an art gallery, a pirate's paradise, and a stage for presentations. But even when it's not dressed up fancy, it's still your library. And it's still more than just books because the library is more. If that's the only thing you remember from this presentation, remember that. Hi, I'm Nisha. I'm the reference librarian in the library. And Kendra is absolutely right. Although we do have books, don't get me wrong, but the library is also a place to study, to get help, and it's an online place full of resources too. Actually, the library is all about resources. I'm going to give you a brief outline of some of the things the library has to offer. Print resources. In print, we have books in different sections. Our main section is on the fourth floor and it has most of our books in our collection. On the third floor, there are a few different areas though. Right inside the main, interest is our bestseller section. Then to the right, a soft seating area with newspapers and magazines. Go down the hallway to the left a little bit is our graphic novel section. In our multi-purpose room, we also have a juvenile section with lots of great kid books, a small collection of print periodicals. Most of our journals are online now. Our curriculum resources, as well as a folio area folio being a fancy word for too big for the regular shelves. As a TAMUT student, you also have access to the Tessa County College Library, and you can even ask us to pick up books from TC and bring them here for you to check out. And if there's a book we don't have that you need, we can use our awesome interlibrary loan service to have another library somewhere in the country send it to us so you can use it. Media. There are a lot of things you can check out of the library that aren't books, though. We have a kiosk on the fourth floor that you can use to get a laptop, iPad, or portable charger. By request at the third floor service desk, you can also get a lot of other media items, like graphing calculators that you can check out for the whole semester, camcorders, headsets, webcams, Kindles, digital cameras, GoPros, and lots more. Woo! We even have accessories like tripods and memory card readers. We're always expanding our collection. So there's some sort of media equipment you need for a class. It doesn't hurt to ask us if we have it. In addition to media equipment that you can check out from our library, we also have the computer lab and printer and a scanning station called the Kick that you can use to scan from books and other documents to send in an email or save to a drive. E-resources. So much of what the library has to offer isn't even on the shelves because we have a huge online collection. The library's website gives you access to hundreds of databases and thousands of eBooks, journals, images, audiobooks, and more. That might seem really overwhelming, but that's where our next resource comes in, support. You are not alone. The library is here to help you figure out how to use the library. That's literally our job. The librarians and library staff are here to help. There are no stupid questions. We don't expect you to just intuitively know how to find journal articles or how to locate a book you need or even where things are located in the library. We want you to ask us. Librarians go to graduate school to learn how to use, operate, and manage libraries. 
We don't expect you to be library experts. You can stop by and talk, make an appointment to come in, call us on the phone, email, however it works best for you. If you aren't sure who to ask, ask any library staff and they will direct you to the right person. We do have online resources that you can use to learn about the library, including library guides or lib guides for short a chat with the librarian feature that operates 24 seven and both live and recorded webinars about library services. This is all to say that you don't have to be intimidated by the library. We are more than happy, ecstatic in fact, to explain anything and everything. All you have to do is ask. Our library hours, we're open seven days a week during finals we study from late and provide free coffee and snacks. Hi, I'm Olivia Fulton, and I'm the Electronic and Digital Services Librarian here at A&M Texarkana, and uh, we're going to go through a little bit more. Okay, we showed you a few pictures at the beginning of the library decorated for different events, but I want to tell you a little bit more about those. This last spring semester, we had our fourth annual Eagle Con. At this event, we have cosplay contests. We have games, popcorn, face painting, button making, an escape room, and more. Also, in the spring, we celebrate National Library Week with a theme and several days of events. This past spring, we had a Harry Potter week, complete with wand making, cosplay, and a sorting ceremony. You know where they sort the houses on where you go. Every library week, we also have an edible book contest. And this is where staff and faculty and students can all compete with tasty literary treats to win prizes. The library also goes big for Halloween. Last year, we dressed up as witches and even did a choreographed dance for the university costume contest. We also had a witch's lair escape room where teams could compete for the best time. Almost every month, the library has a book club where anyone can come and join the discussion and get a free lunch. Some of our recent book club books have been Truman Capote's Other Voices, Other Rooms, David Levithan's Every Day, and Tomi Edeyemi's Children of Blood and Bone. About every two months, we also have a new art exhibition in the library. So the art that you see on the walls of the library, well, that'll change. We showcase local artists to both celebrate their work and provide any visitors to the library with a free art show. The library holds a reception for the artists at the beginning of each show. One of our major fall semester events is part of the first week of classes, the best week ever. The library has Sink or Sore Island on the third floor with a tropical relaxation station, survival kits, snacks at the first aid table, arts and crafts, and selfie stations. This is also where, you're, where you will get a copy of the library handbook and the university's common reader for the year. There are a lot of people that work in your library, over 20. So I'm not going to introduce everyone, just a few. You've already met Nisha, Olivia, and me, Kendra. Terry Stover is the library's director and a librarian that can help you with library resources. Jeanette Mitchell is usually at our front desk ready to help, but right now she's on top of answering the phone and responding to emails, so you can feel free to reach out if you have questions. And remember, the library is more. Thank you for joining us today, and you can follow our Facebook page at TAMUT Library for updates, news, and more information. Bye! Thank Bye. you! Bye! Bye.